Hello, friend. I uh, was almost hesitant to film this video, but I needed to because it's a major life event that involves the garden. And since this is like a garden video channel where I'll be following the progress of my own garden and stuff, well, this happened. Um, the, the property next door, the one that we've been following for a while, watching the weeds grow in the backyard, um, a, a corporation bought it and they sent in some contractors and they butchered my uh, part of one of the one of the fringe benefits of this house was a beautiful wall for us to share. Now we have this wonderful view of, of the abandoned lot next door. Now, like, we might get nice neighbors next door, sure, whatever, but this was a privacy fence. We were excited because the privacy fence was both edible and had pretty flowers, but they butchered it. They just chopped it down to the ground everywhere that they could. I'm not complaining to complain. Um, I already apologized to the one guy who was just doing his job. Um, he's doing what his boss told him to do. And I have issues with the corporation and how they handled my telephone call. Um, don't know, it's gonna be a while. Um, again, pursuant of getting reimbursed for whatever fix I'm gonna make. So we're not gonna spend the winter looking at the neighbors in the yard. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the garden life isn't all roses and delicious fruit. Um, sometimes it's pests and disease and lousy landmarks. I think our lamp. Sorry for this video. But I needed it. I guess. Hope that your garden is doing great. Hope that your garden adventures are always awesome. God bless you. God bless your garden. Peace out, Mr. Whoa, you're still here. You didn't leave. When like I said the video was over. Because it was over. But then something happened. About a week after I took that footage, about a week after those contractors chopped down my rows of Sharon's, um, I started taking matters in my own hands to fix the situation. I built up this fence made out of some small a small tree, a small tree that I chopped down my parents' house. And then uh, two days after I built started building up the fence, um, our friend Olivia from church brought in a whole bunch of probably one year or two year old Rose of Sharon plants. She's not sure what color they're gonna bloom. But all of a sudden I had a whole bunch of Rose of Sharon's to plant on our side of the fence to try to restore what was lost. Um, and hopefully, hopefully that restoration works out well. Hopefully where I planted them is gonna work out well. We'll find out. Hopefully they don't take over our backyard too much. But, Importantly, I got over being down in the dumps about our Rose of Sharon being chopped down and God provided me with some uh, peace of mind an assurance, a blessed assurance, if you will, that things are going to be okay. We'll see where everything grows back next season. Even the Rose of Sharon that got chopped down, like when I was investigating some of the spots where it got chopped, not all of it is dead dead. Um, some of it looks like it might even be able to grow back. And we'll just continue to have a beautiful, beautiful uh, scenario back there. I wanted to include this um, because I still haven't finished editing and posting the video from the first instance. And so why not include the happy news at the end since it's taking me that long to edit? Yeah. Video feels so, like, not cool. But it's cool. God bless you. God bless your garden. I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to put that little fish at the end again, too. Peace out, fish trap.